Uh, not not much of a reader, I guess. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, you not much of a reader? Okay, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. Hey, good morning to you guys. Now, uh, I'm not a big fan on reading or anything like that, but when it comes to Doki Doki Literature Club with four girls and the main theme, you know, I gotta have my prescription on point. Uh, so I have to <laughs> Hold on, let me take down my hair, bro. Give me one second, guys. I'm, I'm almost done, okay? All right, all right, I'm back. I'm not trying to miss a freaking oh, I'm not trying to miss a freaking word. That's why I got these glasses on. All right, like I told you guys before, I have no idea what this game is about. Never attempted to watch anybody play this at all. Never really looked into it at all on the internet or anything like that. But uh, I know one person, my boy Drago. He played this. Uh, I'm, about, I'm about to call him right now, actually. Hold up. He probably the only person that knows about this game. So we gonna ask him if he picks up. Yeah, man. Yo, Jago, what's up? So how is uh how is Doki Doki? Have you I saw you play it. How is it? Like one through ten. What's your rating on it? It's, uh, well, I've only gone to like the part of where they're like they're just letting me uh, make a problem for them. Oh, so you didn't beat it? No, I didn't beat it. Okay. All right. I'm in the midst of uh, working on a thumbnail with like see what I got so. Uh, sure, yeah. It's, uh, you can send it. Alright, well, that's all I wanted. And I'm about to probably buy it. Alright, well, there's your little heads up then. Alright, bet. There you go. Uh, that's pretty much... Okay, uh... Please enter your name. Okay, we about to enter our name. S-P-L-I-Z-E-E. -E. Blizzy, you already know our name is Blizzy. Oh, where's my- where's my matters, bro? Hold up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, no okay. Ah. Soup YouTube, split the game in here, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, we already went through what the. Okay, let's just get into it. All right. Hey. I am annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sokiora, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. What? Uh-huh. You know the kind of friends you ever see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would always sleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of work waking up. Okay. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However... I just signed and idled in front of the cross, uh, crosswalk and let Sonia uh, catch up to me. Okay. Ha ha ha. Oh, this is Sonia. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you said, uh, uh, uh. Huh? Okay. Uh, that's mean Splizzy. What? Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't, uh, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Uh, whatever you say, Sakuri, uh, uh, Sayori, uh. Bro, I gotta get her name down. How do you say her name? Sayori? Sayori. That's how you say it, Sayori. Okay, uh, we cross the street together and make our way to school. Uh, as we draw near the streets, uh, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Splizzy, uh, what, what? Have you decided on a club? No, I don't want to join a freaking club! No! No! I told you already I'm really not interested- Exactly, I'm not interested at all. I do not want to join a freaking club, so do not freaking give me in that at all. Okay, uh, no. Uh, I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. No, I'm not joining no club, bro. Shut up. Uh, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Uh, sorry. Said, uh, say why. Sorry. 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 Savori! Yeah! Savori likes to worry a little too much about me when I perfectly content just content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. 
I was talking about how I'm worried that you wouldn't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Uh, and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you be becoming a be a, a, a You trust me, right? Uh, don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, uh, well, at least you see, bro. <laughs> what? Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll try you. I, I, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Shut up. What do I tell my Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she gets exaggerated, everything inside of her head? Ah, uh, okay. The school, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sawori so wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Bro, if it's a Dragon Ball Z anime club, then I'm in that for sure. But if it's anything else, that is trash! Pure garbage! Uh, hello? Uh, Sawari, so what? Sawari so must, uh, have come into the class while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out so I come in. Honestly, you've even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you need some, uh, encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Uh, well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, I don't want to come to your freaking club. There is no way I'm going to your club, bro. I'm not a meanie. I just don't want to go to the club, bro. Like, what? <laughs> you know, let me stop, bro. Uh, Sawari is vice president of the Liber literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she's only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Hold on, let me turn it down. This is kind of too loud. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Okay. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, uh, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member in. Bro, so you trying to beat me in the club? That's what you're trying to do, huh? That's what you're trying to do, Sierra? Huh? Sayori? I keep saying Sierra. I don't know why. Uh, and Nashuki made cupcakes and everything. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, bro. Uh, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is... Uh, what is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out? I let out a long sign. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Bro, shut up. I'm only stopping by for a cupcake. Uh, thus, today marks the day I sold my- wait, I sold my soul cupcake? Huh? You sold your soul? Wait, wait, what are you talking about? I dejectedly followed Sori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generously used for third year classes and activities. Sori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Ah. Ah. Eh. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! What you trying to do, boy? Get up on my lane, looking kind of slain. I don't want the bang, I just want a lane. Oh, yeah, let me get some veins. I'm a vampire blood. No, let me stop, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, what has happened? Oh, I, I can't go back. Okay, never mind. Uh, I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> I, dance around the gr I dance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Uh, Sewari always says nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy? Wait, I'm a boy? Oh yeah, I am. Okay, uh... Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Splizzy, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. Ah! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Okay, I, I see three cute girls in front of me. Which one y'all wanna date me? Which, which one of y'all wanna date me first? You? You wanna date me first, huh? Yeah? No? Okay, you? 
Okay, I don't care. You, yeah, you, we get, we going on a date. Yeah, for sure. What are you looking at? Uh, I'm looking at the girl with the purple uh, hair. If you want to say something, say it. Oh, uh, so, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Nashuki. Oh, that's not Shuki. She, she cute, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta put my glass down for her. Hey, yo, yo, Suki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nas Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who makes cupcakes. Accord. Oh, she cooked too. Oh, yeah, she definitely going home with me. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Uh, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, this is Yuri. Okay, my bad. Hey, yo, Yuri, I'm sorry that I said your name wrong. I thought you were Nasuki, but I guess this is Nasuki, and this is who? Okay, I don't know. Yuri, who only appears comparably more mature and uh timney uh seems to have a hard time keeping up with people oh yeah sure sayori sayori uh nashuki and my baby girl right there yeah okay oh ah. uh, well it's nice to meet both of you and it sounds like you already know oh okay that's okay monica monica is that right that's right oh you monica oh hey girl how you doing baby you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, it's great to see you again, Splizzy. Uh, Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Okay, Monica, we're pro was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful. I mean, you are beautiful. Athletic. Uh, you do kind of look athletic, too. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you, you too. You too, Monica. You too. Come on, sit down, Splizzy. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'm going to sit next to Monica, bro. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Okay. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? All right. Uh, green tea. The girls have a few a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sawari mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sawari. Nasuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabbed a wrap tray and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sawari. Ah, uh, Sayori. Ah, uh, Nasuke proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, bro. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. Woohoo! Watch that up. Uh, Nashuki slipped the foil off the tray to reveal. Uh, mm, yeah. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, reveals a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to love. What? Like little cats? Okay. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make eyes? Ears? So cute! Okay, I had no idea you were so good at baking, uh, Nashuki. E, 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 well, you know, just hurry and take one. Uh, Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icy. Bro, you are Macy Gore. You are Messy Gore. You know that? Okay. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Who, who does that? Who literally does that? Who does that? Uh, Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really, mm, yeah. That's really good, baby. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Thank you, uh, Nasuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not I. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? made them for you or anything uh, i thought you technically did so are we dead sad well maybe but not for you you dummy why are you calling me a dummy bro all right all right i give up on nashuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set this better be green tea she carefully places a key a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the uh cup cupcake tray whatever 
You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, that's what a hot cup of coffee helps you enjoy a book. A good book, it does. Oh, I, I guess. Hey, 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 uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you, okay? That's not insult. Uh, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least... I mean, at least I enjoy tea, right? You know what I'm saying? Green tea only. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow then smiles at me. Oh, what may you consider the literature? Bro, I want a free cupcake. That's all I came here for. I was afraid of... Bro, what are you afraid of? Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practicing... I was practically dragged here, here by Siri. Well, I haven't joined any club... Oh my gosh, why are you lying to her, bro? Tell her the truth. Tell her that you came here for cupcakes. Oh my gosh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just scared. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? Shut up. Uh, as president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be on board member for any of the major clubs. We're, we're, weren't you a leader of the debate last club last year? Ha 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 ha, well, you know, uh, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and uh, uh, the pl plus plusity and how to prepare for events. Uh, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it, if it, if, 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 if it encourages others to get into their liter literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Shut ups. Uh, Yuri also, yeah, nah, yeah, Yuri, baby, mm, baby girl, let me get a, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Uh, it must be hard to start a new club. You could put that away. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Shut up. But it makes school events like the festivals and more, much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Uh, right, I guess? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically, enthusiastically agrees. <laughs> Such different girls all interested in the same goals. Monica must be have worked. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, nah, let me stop. Uh, Monica must have uh, worked really hard just to find these three. Uh, maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the, idea, by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their levels of enthusiasm about literature. So, Splizzy, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, me, I like to read nothing. I don't, I'm not a reader, but uh, I like to read you, girl. You're looking cute. What's your name? Eh? I mean, I know your name, Yuri. Yuri, where are you from? How old are you? Hello? Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Okay, okay. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these parts these past two years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Mega? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Uh, Nashuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh, not, not much of a reader, I guess. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, you're not much of a reader? Okay, hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're not, you're not a reader either? That's great, that's great, girl, that's great, oh, ah, ah, yeah, uh, yeah, oh, well, that can change, no, don't change it, bro, ah, what are you doing, Splizzy? Oh, uh, well, I am saying I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her face with her finger. Uh, my favorites are usually novels. Wait, was that me talking? The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and clearly passionate about her reading. Ah, oh, I thought she didn't like reading. That was me talking the whole time. She seems to reserve and um, uh, okay. 
Yeah, blah, blah. Okay. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep uh, psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can can be so uh, dead bad? Yeah. Take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you into a loop? Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror. Oh, yeah. What kind of horror you been reading, girl? Ah, I read horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horror is good. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock, bruh. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. Uh, but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't... I... Then I really can't put it down. Uh, sur surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Bro, shut up! Nobody asked if you like horror or not! Shut the freak up! Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, why is that? Well, I just, uh, Nashuki eyes darted over to me for a split second. Never mind. She likes me. That's right, uh, you, uh, oh, oh. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, uh, Nashuki? What? 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 Who gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind a class meeting? It looks like you're working on a poem. You've been working on a poem lately called... Don't say it out loud. Why? What is it called? What is it called? Get that back. Fine, fine. Uh, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Uh, Sirori slides up behind Nashuke and puts her hand... Uh, what are you doing here, girl? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. I'm not cute. Now, Shuki, you, uh, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Because I care! I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No, uh, no. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Now, Shuki, uh, averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet, huh? You're not, you're not confident in your writing, girl? I understand how Nashuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, uh, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuke feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot, dot, dot. I guess... It's the same for Yuri too, I don't know. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Well, I'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. What do you got, Monica? What? Nashuke and Yuri look, uh, quizzically got, uh, baga. Okay. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Okay, what kind of poem are we talking about here? The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, that's the way everyone is even. Um, yeah, <laughs> bro. Why do I keep trying to rap? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. What you trying to say, boy? Yeah. Isn't that right, Splizzy? Uh, Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Are you smiling at me too? Okay. Hold on. There's still one problem. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club, bro. Like, I don't want to join this trash club, bro. Like, what are y'all looking at, bro? I don't want to join a club. Y'all think I want to join this club, bro? Huh? Yeah, look at me like that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Sorori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. Oh my gosh, you dumb splizzy! Off for a girl stare back at me with dejected eyes. Bro, I don't care. I don't care how you look at me, bro. Dang. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm, splizzy, you all. I'm defensively against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it looks like this? That is, if variety poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. 
Right, you guys are all right. Yeah, you guys are all right. Okay, I decided then. I joined this stupid old literature club, okay? All right, okay. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy. Uh, Sorori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down, bro. Get off me. Hey, 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 get off me, bro. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off me. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be surprised. I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Now shut the freak up, okay? Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everybody, uh, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at Mia once more. Splizzy, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Bro, stop laughing. Yeah, bruh. Okay. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chat as Yuri and uh, Nashuki clean up their food. Hey, Splizzy, since you're uh, already here, do you want to walk home together? Uh, that's right. Sirori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Uh, sure, might as well, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so say yay to me! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. With that, the two of us departed the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sorori, Nashuki, Yuri, that's my baby girl right there. And of course, Monica, that's my ex. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah, alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yeah, and also, that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yeah, ooh, yeah, bro, first thing first. Let's just cut the chase. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. It's time to write a poem. Pick words, your favorite word. <laughs> first of all, hold up. There's a lot of reading in this freaking poem, bro, like... I was not expecting all this freaking reading. Why am I reading a whole book? I was not expecting this at all, bro. Okay, let me just... Uh... It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Ah. Uh, we got dance. We got rainbows. Unending. We got pearl. We got despise. Sensation. Depression. Disown. Melody. Uh, let's go with dance, bro. Let's go with passion. That's the first thing I saw. Passion. Games, you know what I'm saying? Oh, calm. Climax. Sweet. Bunny. Bubbles. Death. Uncanny. Imagine. Yep. Imagination. Family. Yep. Uh, Papa. Silly. Unstable. Puppy rose. Crane. Spinning. Insight. Feather. Headphones. Headphones. You know, we got the headphones in. Uh, Dazel. Color. Treasure, special, broken, you know I'm special, picking special, hurt, extreme sunny, happiness, that's all I need, yeah, oh, vanilla, play hope, lipstick, excitement, bliss, blanket, adventure, yes, that's what we on, we are on a adventure, yo, here, kitty, oh, journey, yeah, that's what we on too, yeah, uh, waterfall, ribbon, jumpy hair, pain, yeah, defeat no i never lose valentine i got a question yo what is it i don't even know let me get the hair though yeah i'm feeling kind of in pain cap i'm feeling kind of jumpy yeah oh whisper analysis oh anime dragon ball z though oh hop kiss tears flowers uh peaceful that's what we need yeah oh lazy i'm not lazy oh forgiving email lollipop pink cheer lucky mouth smile smile all the time you know what i'm saying yeah Oh, bed, jump, not, nah, no, party, no, giggle, yeah, I know you giggling, cause I'm freaking rapping though, yeah, oh, heart, I got a heart, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, clumsy, bouncy, summer, stinky, together, rainbow, no, I'm not about that, clumsy, kinda, maybe, I don't know, night gone, clouds, cage, yeah, oh, hopeless, no, that's not it, fantasy, no, we not, in ah, disaster, skippy, no, I don't even know, no, I just broke the whole thing. Um, let's do... I don't even know. I 
I don't know. We in a cloud though. Yeah. Oh, doki doki. Fun. We having fun. And we flying what you saying though. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what's about to happen. Ah, uh, what up, babe? What up, Monica? How you doing? Hi again, Splizzy. Glad to see you didn't run off on us. Nah, don't worry. I'm not about to run off on your club, bro. I'm trying to get it. Okay. <clears throat> this might be a little strange for me, but at least, you know, I got to keep my word, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Splizzy. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. So Ari let, told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year, and that last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then we uh won't see the end. Well, shut your mouth, bruh. Who she thinks she is? Now, Shuke, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her mega collection in the club room. Uh, M M M. Uh, Nasuke finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Mega. Mega is literature. Swiftly defeated, uh, Nasuke plops back into her chair. Don't worry, guys. Splizzy always gives his best as long as he's having fun. You already know. Yeah. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So worry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once? How did you freaking do that? It's like, is that so? Uh, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Splizzy can be good friends too? Um, Sorori? Huh? As usual, Sorori seems oblivious to the weird switch situation she just put me into. Oh no, Yuri even bought you something today, you know? Wait, Sorori? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Uh, what the freak is it, bruh? Uh, never mind. Sorori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? Uh, hey, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. That's that. That's that split. First of all, I wasn't even expecting anything in the first place. So, like, I mean... That's good, I guess. So, like, any nice gestures from you is a, it's like, it's a, it's a pleasant surprise, baby. Like, you know that? <laughs> uh, it'll make me happy no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal. I mean, if you don't want me to be, if you don't want it to be, you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. This, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll, I'll, I'll like despite me not reading much? Yuri, thank you, I definitely read this, you know? I enthusiastically taste the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you... Oh, my God. That's my baby right there. That's my baby right there. No cap. Okay. Mm. Now that everyone is settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some situated activities for the club. But that seemed to be the case. That doesn't seem to be the case. So Ori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already burnt in the book. I can't help but notice her intense impression, expression like she was waiting for her chance. Meanwhile, uh, Nashuke is rambling, uh, rambling around, ram, rampaging, ram, man, 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 around in the closet. Okay. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the books Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up... Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing, guy? Uh, we're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Uh, 
Well, you, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and uh, intellectual, but it's not uh, that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Sometimes, something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm, you're right about that. That doesn't solve the problem, though, you know? Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the same to speak to their creative minds. Uh, what's this? Sorori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to her. It's rare to hear her uh, deliberately like this. Okay, there. Okay, huh? Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food would do the trick? What? What kind? Well, I guess we could cupcake. But we already had cupcakes, bro. Let's get some donuts or something. Uh, good thinking. Now, Shuke would love to do that. Uh, you're right. Now, Shuke makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speaks to my creative tummy? Okay. Cupcakes is it then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details for of the event itself. Alright. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motive as a motivation at all, Sorori can put her mind to things. Okay, I didn't read that. Go back. Oh! Sorori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. Okay. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through my, her eyes. Dang, why you gotta be so close? Dang, what? I open my eyes to find Sorori's face uh, filling my vision. I nearly fall out of the chair. Dang, girl, okay. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like this. This isn't the na uh, the nipping club? Napping club? Okay, I said that wrong completely. Does our, s Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud, girl, like, dang. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica's overheard. It's true, though. Uh, yeah, I know that. Okay. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, okay? Now shut up. <laughs> Did she laugh at that? Whoa. People would just laugh at everything I say, huh? It's crazy. What would I do best? That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself, bruh. Like, you can't be doing that, bro. You know that? You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. Not every day. That is not very convincing, bro. You are cappy. How many days this week have you slept? Have you gotten up on time? It's a secret? How is it a secret? Shut up, you capping. I knew it. Ah, uh, come on. Shut up. At least give me the benefits of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sorori, it's written all over you. Uh, Sorori glanced around at herself. How is it written all over me? Bro, you was clearly in a rush this morning, bro. It's all written over your face. Like, look at your hair sticking all around, bro. Like, you didn't even take a shower this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I run my fingers down the side of Sorori's hair, trying to tra straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush for this, bro. We need a brush. My hair is just really hard to get, this, get right? Bro, I won't fall for that, bro. I'm not dumb. Do you think I'm dumb? Look me in the eye. Am I dumb? Exactly. Okay. All right. There's more than this your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. Look, your bow is cricket, bro. Like, dang. And there's two paste stains on your collar, bro. Like, what are you doing? I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But but nobody would ever notice. Bro, shut up. I notice it. Of course they wouldn't. Of course they would notice that. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. Uh, hey, you meanie, shut up. And you don't even keep your blazer, uh... 
your blazer button up? She don't need to, do she? Seriously, Cerrone. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> bro, dang, he coming at his whole... He coming at her whole life, bro. I'm dead. That's super mean. Sorry, but you, you will thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you will change your mind. Dang, she get all up close to her face? This is so funny. What is? What? Well, I was just thinking how weird it to have a friend who does these kind of things. I'm not the one, okay? I already got Yuri, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, don't say that, bro, okay? You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess? I mean, uh, I don't know. Hey, be careful. The button might fall off. Why is... Why is this one so hard to cl What? I struggle to fully close the button near our chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Ah, uh, It did when I bought it. Oh my god, bro. You gotta fu- If you ever button it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about, bro? Put that smile down! I'm not reading that. Don't say that out loud! Anyway, you look much better now, so, uh... Why does it feel strange to see Sorori's blazer button up like that? But it, it's so stuffy. Um, it's not worth it at all. Sorori hesitantly unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Uh, Sorori puts her arms out and swirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that it's like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like... Okay, alright. I mean, hey. You take, uh, you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Uh, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier, alright? Because you you look like a bum right now. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Bro, I, I, okay, 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 dang, dang, it's a deal. Hey, I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess, I guess you got a point there, huh? I guess you do got a point there. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, bro. You're doing it again. You know that? Bro, I don't care. I don't care. This is impossible to tell you. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> okay, everyone. What? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay. Splizzy, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I, uh, I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sorori still towards a way to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember the write a poem last night? I did, I did, I didn't forget. Um, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I never really done this before. Well, now that's everybody, uh, is if Okay, now everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sorori and Monica enthusiastically put out their poems. Sorori's is on the uh the wrinkled sheet of loose leaf tore from a s s uh, uh, spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's person handwriting uh from where I sit. Now Shuki and Yuri reluctantly uh comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Bro, this is crazy. Uh, who should I uh, show my poem to first? Yuri, my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. She the one who gave me the book. Yuri stares on my poem. Yeah. Mm. Um, a limit passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Dang. Okay. 
This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why don't you ask me, bruh? Hey! I'm just making sure, hey, that's all. I guess that it may be at- I uh, mean- <laughs> I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so is that bad? No, it's not bad at all. I- 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 I, I didn't mean to raise my voice. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it, 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 it just been several minutes and we really hadn't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, man. I really didn't even notice, okay? What were you saying, though? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. And having been through that my myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very, uh, yeah, deliberate. In other words, they tend to uh, pick a writing style separate from the other topic, I mean, from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Bro, you going all into literature, bro. Like, I don't want to, uh, you, I don't want to learn this. Just tell me how my poem was. <sighs> Once you refines her training of thought, it's as if she, her, if her demeanor totally changes. Her stampering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Now, Shuke can be a little bit bi biased, though. Bias? How? Um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be even be talking about. I shouldn't even be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Nashuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts uh, process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if she, there's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is a kind of funny. After all, it, is this supposed to be a literature club? What does it say? Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Baffing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathed. Tom's breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers. I flicker back. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very well. I don't read script very well. I actually think your handwriting is pretty? Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. No, not at all, okay? Yeah. Give me the match. That's what I'm looking for. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, uh huh? Uh huh? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Splizzy. Really? Uh, I must have totally missed that point then. What is it about? Uh, well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Uh, but remember that poem often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work? They usually do more tell a story than tell a story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, the subject of the poem is only being, uh, sight, uh, sight, uh, how do you say that word? Symbolically, compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining part of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left without nothing. That's a more, that's, that's a lot more solemn, putting it in that, that way. Okay, I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, it's nothing really, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, it makes me happy that you think that. 
It's just, just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I guess I have to just keep trying, you know? I'm counting on you. You better be. Alright, let me, uh, let me look at Sh uh, Shari. Does this girl like me? Oh my goodness. This is so good, Splissy. Uh, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Uh, Sirori? You must be seriously overreacting, bruh. Like, there's no way at all. I'm not a good writer at all. At all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what, what I like either. Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even, uh, Nashuki's. Are you sure you don't like this? It's just because I wrote it? Uh, she capping. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a splizzy poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Oh, she, she feel me. She feel me a lot. That's good. Sorori hugs the sheet against her... Our chest? Okay. She got feelings for me. You're so weird, Sorori. Uh, I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm st standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of course, you know. Yeah. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Splizzy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people... That's something that only real good people do. Yeah, I'm a good person. Yeah. Spice that egg button down. Thanks, Sirori. Uh, I'm not sure if Sirori sees the full picture of my motive here. Motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure you have a lot of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, but all right, I'm going to hold you to that then. I'm, I'm really going to hold you to that. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that. Yay. Uh, now you're reading my poem too, right? No, I don't want to read your poem. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Okay. We'll see about that. Alright. Ah, dear Sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to tell me... Oh, wait, hold on, let me restart. <laughs> Kissing my forehead... To help me out of the bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not. But I'm not mad. Uh, <laughs> I want breakfast, bro. Shut up, bro. That was good. That was really good. That was that, that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Sayori, that was really beautiful. This is just a guess, but uh, did you wait until this morning to write this? Uh, no. Just a little bit. You uh can't answer just a bit to say yes or no questions. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me uh feel a, a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah, you did? I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem or anything like that. I'm just saying. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you, bruh. Really? Yeah! Especially that last line. I want breakfast. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. Oh, hold up. Messing up. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing then, right? Anyway, thanks for showing me that. I appreciate that. This way so much this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh yeah. But next time I won't forget. Uh I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I I'm looking forward to it then I I guess so. Alright, Monica's next. Hi Splizzy, how you doing guy? How you doing? Having a good time so far? Uh, I'm doing good, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing good, you know what I'm saying? Ah, glad to have you here. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things, we could do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? Yeah, alright, I keep that in mind. 
Of course, I'd be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. Anyway, what to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Splizzy. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we're all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that is, that is kind of true, you know. Uh, I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sorori will like. Really? Is that so? You and Sorori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if I had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sorori and I are actually really different, you know? Really different from each other. Mmm, well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks to you, it sounds like the two of you are really caring about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Ah, uh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, bro, <laughs> she said I sound like Yuri. <laughs> In any case, uh, Sierra's Cier writing has kind of a gentle feeling to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who know that anyone who's happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally, that's totally unexpected, you know? Well, to each... Well, to each their own, and you shouldn't be afraid to experience a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up different, uh, trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing things, doing this. Oh, uh, that's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always try. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impre Im Im impressing, impre impre impressing yourself. Impressing him or anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound confident. What? Uh, that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see, I see. Well, let's read it then. Ah. Hole in the wall. It wouldn't have been me. See? The direction. The sparkle. protrudes, A noisy neighborhood. An angry boyfriend. I never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I real Blind. Like a film. Left out in the sun, but it was too late. It's too late. What does that say? Okay. Already. Scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. This is a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole. And infinite choices. I realize now. But I wasn't looking in too. Wait, I wasn't looking in. There we go. I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That was, uh, that was really good. So, uh, what do you think? Um, it was very free from, if that what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poem I've been putting, uh, okay. Emphasis on the time between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the uh, inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of, uh, emphasis recently. It's been influencing my poem a lot. Poems a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that, whatever. Yeah, sometimes like that. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, uh, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Some sometimes when you're writing on a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Uh, uh, another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you will just get a big mark put up. Okay, so just move your hand and, okay, I get it, I get it. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You're welcome, no problem. No problem, Maka. Alright, last person, Nashuki. Nashuki, what up? How you doing? Well, that's about what I expected for someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, it's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So, basically, it's not cute for your taste. No, you want to get smacked? Bro, I don't want to get smacked, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Bro, shut up. I'm gonna like it. What is this? Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. What the freak is this? This is trash! I told you that you weren't going to like it. <laughs> oh, that was garbage! <laughs> what? Just be honest. I am! Why are you so can- well, Why am I lying to myself? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Because, But it isn't- isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to write, but it's hard you but it's hit if it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everything around you do great things can be really uh disheartening, okay? So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I, I understand that. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts some more weight on the word on the word wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on the purpose? It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized, and I, I guess so. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, you, did you? Uh, yeah, I, I guess not. I guess not, bro. I decided to uh, rumor her. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nas Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. That was crazy. Eh. Oh. Eh. Pew. Pew. Oh. Oh. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. Yeah. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Oh. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities yeah even if they were just being nice there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs yeah oh this is literature club after all yeah yeah i sign i guess that's what i ended up getting myself into across the room sorori and monica are happily chatting my eyes land on yuri and uh Na nashuki yeah they gingerly exchange piece of paper sharing their respective poems as they are reading, uh, I watch each of their expressions change. Ah, Nashuki's eyebrows furrowed in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with the language? Ah, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, Nashuki, uh, dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Uh, cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Ah, I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Ah, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm? If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Siri liked it. And Splizzy did too. So based on that, I'm glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I came across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Okay, and Splizzy liked my poem too, you know. He, 
he even told me he was impressed by it. Now Shuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize why the music stopped. The music stopped. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our own, our new member Yuri. Eh. Ah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's not what I... Uh, you were just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Splizzy appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't <clears throat> appreciate my advice more? Are, uh, are you that full of yourself? I... No, I'm not. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutie. Cutie is... Ah, oh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Oh, ah! oh! 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this music is so fire. Let me, I'm not gonna say that. Ah, uh, Nashuki, um, uh, Nashuki, that's a little, ah, uh, this, this is, this is whole, this is all drama right here. Everybody just fighting right now. This doesn't dissolve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Splizzy. She, uh, she just tried to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all... Con what? Uh, for no reason. The meaning she jumped out of the read. Wait, the mo the meaning she jumped out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Yeah, help me explain that to her, Splizzy. Wait, what? There's a reason why we had so many deep expressions and words in our language. It's the only way to conveniently come. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> to can uh convey uh complex feelings and meanings to most effect efficiently. Uh I cannot read today, bro. <laughs> Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limited limitedly in yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that right, Splizzy? Um well uh I did wait, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, so of course that's going to be... I don't know who to say! I'm just going to say, help me Siri. Siri. Nashuki. Uh, Nashuki glares at me, dying up any words I thought in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenselessly that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori? Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friends feel like this? Splizzy! Well, that's her problem. This isn't about you, her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to say Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Yeah. Oh, she would never... It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me, what? Oh, are you just listening to myself? Are you listening to yourself right now? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody let. Stop! Okay, they I need to stop. Now, Shuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everybody to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Now, Shuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so much feeling with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And... Big and beautiful. Okay. Sirori. Sirori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. <clears throat> Yuri rushes off. Nashuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. 
So this is why Shuri is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nodded in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I could even bring myself to interject. As president, that's the kind of embarrassing of me. Uh, yeah. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't uh, able to say anything either. Well, uh, I guess that just means Sorori is amazing in her own ways, isn't it she? You can say that, I guess. She might be afraid. She might be an airhead sometimes. Um, but yeah, you know, who gives a crap? I see. Take good care of her, okay? I will. I wouldn't hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes the two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genius, genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Uh, okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, i say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Splizzy, how about you? Uh, yeah, i say the same. It was a neat thing to say about, you know, with everything for everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. Okay, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job in impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Splizzy, what do you want, bro? Let me go home. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Sure, let's go. Ah. Yeah, yeah, Sorori beams at me. Yeah, it truly has a been while since Sorori and I spent this much time to get there. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Bro, Sorori, she likes me, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. She likes me. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Ashuki, does that kind of thing happen often? Uh, no, 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 it doesn't. Wait, what is he talking about? That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them at all. I don't even know them to hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why that they uh they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Splizzy? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Uh that's okay. Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Shuri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but doesn't it really need to stop there? Well, we just have to see what the future holds, Shuri. I pat Shuri on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Shuri as an intentional uh, monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, uh, let's do this. Uh... Ah, oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm I'm about, to, I'm about to wrap it up here. My mouth is dry. I've been talking consistently for a whole hour. I'm 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 dead. Okay. You guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys place that like button and that subscribe button while you at it if you're new to the channel. And um, without further ado, ladies and gents, uh, I'm kind of liking this a little bit. It's not that bad, but uh, I mean. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Ah.